Slani Kravitz, I am Corvus Brusio Bogenikos and welcome again to the Nemeton. Today I would like to slightly review or mostly recommend you a TV show that I just finished a couple of days ago and that I absolutely love to extremes that I forgot that I could love a show. That is first ABC Families and then Freeform's The Fosters. The Fosters is a family drama about an interracial lesbian couple in which one of the women has a biological child and both of them have adopted twins as their children and what happens is that one of them is in contact with uh, social services and they tell about a problematic girl that has been in the government's custody for way too long and she's not 18 yet so basically they accept to foster this girl and this girl comes with a bunch of problems and I'm very tempted to tell what happens at the end of the first episode it's very straightforward it's everything told in the beginning but I don't want to because that was like mm, what made me love the show in first instance so um, the thing is that she comes with lots of problems. Most of them are told between the first episodes and the rest is how the parents or the mothers deal with these problems and others are told when you got a little bit more advanced in the development of the series. This show isn't just great because of the social themes that it touches such as homophobia, um, homosexual people parenting, uh, the foster system and all this stuff, which is great. It also is very well developed. Uh, when I thought that it couldn't surprise me more or, or that it couldn't bring me more to tears, it did. And it did to my mom too, because this is like my mom a nice uh, little uh, guilty pleasure and yeah um, you've got Terry Polo in this show she does an amazing job and you have a real palette of really talented actors of all ages of all backgrounds and it is really interesting and it is really chill out like the social issues that it touches, they aren't like really, really forced down our throats and really, really uh, artificial to be presented to the public. It is like really natural, it is really well written in that aspect how they developed into certain situations and when they're into those certain situations, certain things are addressed like homophobia, like racism, like um, classism, like uh, yeah, a bunch of, of stuff and the show is really awesome in that aspect. It has five seasons and the three uh, first seasons are awesome. Like, as I said, when we thought we couldn't cry more, they got us into a new and sudden situation in which we saw and found ourselves crying in front of the TV screen and that is awesome. It also has uh, many lovely moments, many moments in which you get to connect with some character and you go like, oh, so lovely. And yeah, it's really adorable and a really well written and developed and grounded show that I really, if you uh, consume, drama, family drama and stuff like that, you should really watch it if you haven't already because it's really, really recommendable as a TV show. 
the characters are very well defined, they develop very naturally, it's not like, you know, forced and they don't get stuck either, so it's really a very very good show and to me it's a 10 because as I said the, the magnificent, the super good seasons are the first three seasons in which the main things develop in my opinion. Uh, even in the third season when I thought, I remember telling my mom, mom it's been a long time since this show uh, doesn't make us cry and like a couple episodes after something happened in a way so naturally developed that we didn't see it coming and when a character started to cry after we were telling that the character was stupid, why did you do that, are you crazy, you're gonna screw it up and like the character explained the reasons to do that and we were brought to tears again and it has been so up until third season. In fourth season we also cried and in five season we didn't cry I think or we did at the beginning. But the fourth and fifth season they're both good as well. It's just not as excellent, as magnificent, as greatest as the first three seasons. But the five of them are absolutely worthy a watch if you're into this type of TV drama or family drama because you will have the most lovely and the most tearful moments you will have if you are into being that emotional with TV shows, which I am. And I also don't want to forget to say that it was an iconic moment in our events of TV watching of my mom and I when, you know, the opening of this show started with its characteristic opening theme and my mom used to sing along not the words but the rhythm of the voice because she doesn't understand English but she was like na 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 every single time the opening appeared in each episode and that was and will forever be one of our most iconic uh, mother and son moments in our lives. We have developed a series of iconic moments through uh, watching TV shows and films and this will absolutely forever be one of them. She even included the song of the opening uh, in her mobile phone. Adorable! Yeah guys, um, absolutely give it a try. I really loved this show unexpectedly because it was a show you know Terry Polo I knew her for some of her films and it is produced by Jennifer Lopez between all the producers and I during most of the first episode was like okay this is the same boring family thing that Americans do just with two women as parents and couple and nothing else. But in the last 10 minutes of that episode a bunch of things happen and then you see that the structure of the show will be different to what you expected and actually pretty different. It will imply other characters, other situations, other dynamics that you weren't foreseeing in first instance and they're all even better than what you were foreseeing, so I absolutely recommend you to give it a try. Watch at least um, three or four episodes if you're not convinced with the first one and absolutely enjoy it if you like it. And that's all guys, uh, please tell me what you think about this TV show in the comments down below. Like if you liked the video or the TV show. 
don't dislike if not that's rude subscribe for more tv shows reviews and recommendations and reactions and stuff share this video in your social media if you think it may be of interest to your people follow me my social media will be in the description box thanks for watching guys may the way to the way watch over you all bye